In this video, I'm going to talk about the Jean Dubuffet sculpture assignment. So I'm going to start, I'm going to talk a little bit about Jean Dubuffet, I'm going to talk about his uh, inspiration, and then I'm going to tell you what your assignment should be. Uh, Jean Dubuffet was a French painter, but he also did some sculpture. Uh, and one of the most notable things about Jean Dubuffet as an artist was that he, he was kind of on the forefront of the art brut movement, or art brut just means raw art. So there's, there's high art and there's low art. High art would be considered like the Mona Lisa by Da Vinci or the Sistine, Cha Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo. Like those are without a doubt some of the greatest pieces ever ever created in Western culture. Uh, and there's no arguing that those are magnificent pieces done by great artists, famous artists with quality material. On the other side of that, low art is uh, stuff, artwork done by common people. Uh, so like if you go to a craft fair, uh, a lot of that stuff, it's cool, but it's not done by famous people and it's easily accessible. So Jean Dubuffet was interested in that type of stuff. Uh, and really what he, what he was most fascinated with was artwork done by prisoners, artwork done by children, and artwork done by people with mental illnesses. Uh, so with your sculpture, what you're going to do is you're going to create an abstraction in the style of Jean Dubuffet and in, in that art brute style. Uh, you're going to abstract a common everyday object and <clears throat> you're going to recreate it in a new and interesting way. So when you think about something, think about something ordinary like a coffee mug and reimagine, look at that coffee mug from all different angles and reimagine all those pieces kind of put together in a new and interesting way. Um, if you look up, if you Google Jean Dubuffet, uh, the group of four trees that's a sculpture in New York City and that's kind of what you should be striving for so here's here's a sculpture that I've started so my inspiration the object that I'm abstracting is a snare drum so I play drums so I have I have a great deal of knowledge about what a snare drum is and all the parts of it and how it works so it makes it very easy for me to kind of take all of the elements of a snare drum and kind of break it apart and then put it back together in a new and interesting way. So you can see like there's some there's some drum like pieces. So I've got a drum head here. I've got a drum head here and the, the snare drum wires that actually make the sound um, right there. <clears throat> now your sculpture doesn't like if I just showed you this and said what is it you may or may not be able to tell that it's a drum <clears throat> um, so your sculpture doesn't have to look like the thing that you're abstracting like if I look at your sculpture when I'm grading it and I can't tell what it is that's okay that's that's good um, actually if I can tell what it is you may not have abstracted it enough. Um, so you want to kind of break it apart and think about it in different different angles, different pieces, and totally use, or use all of those elements broken apart, bring them all back together in a new and interesting way. The other challenge to this, there's, there's two more, uh, two more challenges to this. Number one, you get one piece of board. If you mess up or if you lose your board, you can buy another one from me for points. So if you make a mistake and you can't fix it, you can buy another board for me, but it's going to cost you a letter grade. So your grade is going to, the best you can get is a B. So if you make a mistake, your best bet is to figure out how to incorporate. Hang on. If you make a mistake on your sculpture when you're cutting your pieces or when you're gluing them or whatever, 
your best bet is to figure out a way how to incorporate that mistake into your final product, into your final idea. So that's, that's uh, number one. Number two is you have to use the entire board. So this is most of my board. I do have some pieces left over I want to show you. So these are the pieces that I have left over from my board. Now, if you've got a couple little pieces like this, if you've got three or four of those pieces, you don't have to include those. Um, if you have a lot of these little pieces, if you got six or seven tiny little pieces, you might want to figure out, you'll need to figure out how to, how to put those in. This stuff, these pieces are too big. I have to now figure out how to put these leftover pieces onto my final sculpture. And I need to make them pieces of my sculpture. So I can't just glue them all together and make it a base. Like I, it needs to be part of the actual sculpture. So this stuff, these little pieces, it's not a big deal. I don't have to incorporate those. I can if I want. Uh, but these pieces, absolutely, I will have to use somehow. So that's that's your sculpture. It should be an abstract object. It should be an abstract sculpture in the style of Jean Dubuffet. It should be an abstract sculpture of a common everyday item. Uh, and you need to, you, you get one board and you need to use all of that board. So if you have any other questions or you, I'll be in class showing how to, how to actually glue, how to, how to curve your foam board, how to glue the foam board pieces together, what kind of glue to use. I'll be talking about that in class. And if you have questions, uh, let me know.